My name is Will Brenton, and I am going to describe a new Solvita CO2 test. Woods and Laboratories developed Solvita due to the growing interest in measuring carbon dioxide respiration in soils and compost. Soil CO2 respiration is a natural property of fertile farm soil, and measuring it serves to indicate many things. The amount of active soil carbon reflects soil history and composition. It tells us about the degradation of soil organic matter from surface crop residues and the effects of added manure and compost. The drying re-wetting process employed in our tests mimics natural soil cycles. This soil CO2 burst reveals microbial biomass and potential nutrient mineralization. Estimating potential nutrient release is important, especially for commercial farming to properly gauge fertilization. Solvita enables these dynamic traits of soil to be measured in a relatively simple and inexpensive fashion. Let's go to the lab and see how the Solvita soil test is carried out. We start with soil which has been previously dried at 40 Celsius and then ground and sieved at 2 millimeters. This is an important part of the drying re-wetting protocol that forms a basis for the test. Take the beakers provided in the kit. Notice that they have holes in the bottom to allow water permeation. Insert a glass fiber filter into the beaker. Next, place 40 grams of dried weighed soil into the beakers. Now add 25 cc's of deionized water to the bottom of the glass jar provided with the test. You can choose how you best measure and inject the water. Now insert the beaker containing the soil into the jar and you will notice the water begins to wick up from below which will slowly bring the sample to field capacity. This protocol has been shown to both simplify and speed up lab preparation and to standardize water additions. Now, select the low CO2 absorption probe contained in a foil package. Tear open and remove the soil CO2 paddle. Insert it alongside the beaker in the glass jar. Place the lid on securely and put the jars in an area for 24 hours at room temperature of 25 Celsius. The test is complete after 24 hours. Now we observe that the probe has changed in color in proportion to the absorption of evolved carbon dioxide. You can estimate the result by comparing to the color chart provided. This shows the results in five color changes. To realize the full potential of the procedure, however, the digital color reader is employed to quantify the color change. To use the DCR, simply insert the probe into the cavity in the bottom of the unit. Next, select the type of test. In this case, the low CO2 range is chosen for soils. Simply press the read button and the results are displayed on the screen. The first line of code shows the exact color units that will match a reading on the color chart. The second line of code shows the CO2 carbon in terms of parts per million. This completes the test. Several soil research projects have firmly established that measuring soil CO2 respiration is very relevant to gauge soil quality and environmental effects. We designed the Solvita for convenience, replacing the traditional time-consuming chemical CO2 titration protocol, which requires standardizing chemicals, transfer steps, and stepwise titration that must be carefully and visually observed. It also replaces other higher cost methods that are space and quantity restricting protocols. We have demonstrated high correlation to these other methods. It has been many years since Dr. Liebhard revealed in 1982 that many soil labs were over recommending costly nitrogen fertilizer. The root of the over fertilizing problem was and still is failure to appreciate soil carbon. Soil labs have traditionally ignored this contribution of soil organic carbon to nutrient supply. One reason is that the technology to date has been clumsy and not cost effective. We also hear the excuse from labs that farmers are not requesting this type of active carbon test. 
Working with Dr. Haney of USDA ARS, we have combined the Solvita technology with a drying rewetting protocol to standardize and simplify the test process. Interpretation of the Solvita test is straightforward. Since microbial biomass and nitrogen mineralization are proportional to the amount of CO2 measured by the Solvita CO2 burst following drying and rewetting. We have shown a close relationship of the Solvita test to the most popular but time consuming seven day lab test for nitrogen mineralization. We have also demonstrated that the positive contribution to soil respiration from additions of manure compost is readily documented by the Solvita test. Farmers who use manures or compost hitherto have had little guidance by soil tests on what to expect. A conservative indication of potential nitrogen supply is gained by taking one half the measured Solvita CO2 pulse. This can be adapted to different growing regions. The quality of soil carbon also affects the relationship. The Solvita and min test is important for many reasons. Failure in the past by soil laboratories when measuring fertility tended to underappreciate soil humus. By not noticing the natural turnover of carbon, incorrect applications of nitrogen in excess of actual plant requirements became common. Ignoring soil carbon is clearly associated with the unfortunate decline in agricultural soil quality, but it is also associated with the alarming amount of groundwater contamination by excess nitrogen fertilization. It's time to take soil quality into account. The new Solvita test is especially designed for soil laboratories and is inexpensive and simple to perform. For growers interested in having this test performed, all you have to do is request that your regional soil lab adapt the procedure. For those who want to experience the test themselves in a simple do-it-yourself kit that does not require a laboratory, we have the basic Solvita soil test. All the necessary information is online at solvita.com. Thank you for choosing Solvita.